Hi guys, today we are going to learn about nodal analysis. Nodal analysis is not at all a new technique. It is simply a combination of two laws. One is KCL and another one is Ohm's law. What is KCL? According to KCL, algebraic sum of the currents entering through a node currents entering through a node is equal to currents leaving the node. Okay, currents leaving the node. And according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. We can say that I is equal to V by R. Now, we are going to study this topic with the help of this circuit diagram. Okay, so let us consider this is the node V1 and this one is the node V2. See, this node and this node both are one and the same. Why? Because there is no resistance between these two terminals. Okay, these two terminals. This node is also at V1 voltage. And similarly, here also these two nodes are one and the same. These three nodes are one and the same. Okay, here also. Same case. As these three are connected in parallel, so voltage across each and every element is same. Here also V1 voltage, here also V1 voltage. Now, let us consider a current I1 I2, I3 and I4. These are the four currents. Okay. Now, what I am doing is, I am applying the nodal analysis at a node V1. At node V1, let us say. Okay. So, at a node V1, What are the currents entering? See, this is the current entering and this is the current entering. These two are the currents entering. So, algebraic sum of the currents entering 8 plus 2 is equal to currents leaving the node. What are the leaving currents? I1 and I2 are the currents leaving. So, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 and at this point for I1 we are applying Ohm's law. I is equal to V by R. Here I1 for I1 is equal to V1 by 5 ohms. V1 by 5 ohms plus I2 is equal to V1 by 10 ohms. V1 by 10 now, taking V1 as common, V1 into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10, which is equal to V1 into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 is 0.3. Finally, we will get V1 is equal to 33.33. Okay, this is the voltage at node V1, voltage at node V1 and now let us apply the nodal analysis at node V2, node V2, okay. So at node V2, what is happening? 5 amperes of current is entering and remaining all the currents are leaving. What are the leaving currents? 2 amperes, I3 and I4. Okay. So, 5 is equal to I3 plus I4 plus 2. Currents entering is equal to currents leaving. Okay. Now, I am writing like this. 5 minus 2 is equal to I3 plus I4. 5 minus 2 is equal to I3 plus I4, which is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. I3 is equal to 
v2 by 20 v2 by 20 plus v2 by 10 okay 3 is equal to v2 into 1 by 20 plus 1 by 10 which is equal to by simplifying this one we will get v2 is equal to 20 volts here this is a 33.33 volts okay so now what we will do is we will find i1 i2 and all those things okay see this is v2 so now we are finding out i1 i2 i3 and i4 so what is i1 i1 is equal to v1 by 5 ohms okay what is v1 v1 is 33.33 by 5 is equal to 6.66 66 ohms and similarly what is i2 i2 is equal to v1 by 10 ohms which is equal to v1 is 33.33 means 3.33 ohms similarly i3 is equal to v2 by 20 what is v2 v2 is itself 20 20 by 20 is equal to 1 volt and I4 is V2 by 10 which is equal to 20 by 10 is equal to 2 volts okay so this is about the currents okay if you want to find whether the currents are true or not what you have to do is so let us consider uh, this equation 8 plus 2 10 is equal to I1 plus I2 10 is equal to I1 plus I2 which is what is I1? I1 is equal to 6.66 plus 3.33 which is 9.999 which is approximately equal to 10 ampere. So our solution is exactly correct. This is about nodal analysis. Thank you.